If you've been wanting to create a fun read aloud or read along video of your beautiful children's book that captures the realistic turning of pages like this example right here, this video is for you. Hi there, I'm Evie, an award-winning children's author and ghostwriter over on eviejones.com and the creator of Children's Book University. I create videos specifically for children's authors, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my weekly videos. In this video, we'll look at what read aloud or read along videos are, the three main ways we can use them, and of course, how to create our very own quickly, easily, and free. So let's jump right in. Having created many read along or read aloud videos for my own children's books, a question I get asked a lot is how I created these videos. Now there are many different ways to go about this. So in this video, I'm going to share one of my favorite ways using two tools that are easy to use and absolutely free. So what are read aloud or read along videos? Here's what they are not. Read along videos of our books are not book trailers. I made a whole separate video on just book trailers, what they are, best practices, and the main resources I would recommend if we want to create our own book trailer. I went ahead and added the link to that video in the description below. Book trailers are very much like movie trailers. They are little snippets or teasers that we can share to get people interested in our book. Read aloud videos, on the other hand, are videos where a book is read in its entirety. Read alouds had such a big moment during the pandemic where lots and lots of people recorded themselves reading children's books to be watched and shared on platforms like YouTube. These types of videos work especially well with picture books, less so with middle grade chapter books. And that's because one, picture books have lots and lots of illustrations to focus on during the read aloud. And two, because picture books are relatively short, we can read the book out loud in less than five minutes, which is perfect for little readers. Now, you may be asking, but Evie, why would I want to share my entire children's book that way? Wouldn't that take away the need to buy my book? So let's look at the three main reasons why creating a read aloud video can be really beneficial. Reason number one is that we can use the read aloud of our book as a free marketing tool. Very similar to a book trailer, we can share our read aloud video on big platforms like YouTube. YouTube, just like Google, is a humongous search engine. So with a read aloud video, we essentially get to attract potential eyeballs absolutely free. Now, if you're worried that this might stifle your sales, consider this. Whenever someone finds and watches our read aloud video on, let's say, YouTube, chances are very high that this person has never heard of us before, right? Meaning before that video, they probably didn't even know about us and our book at all. So it is usually because of our video that they learn about us in the first place. And after having found and watched our video, they now not only learned about our book, but they can now decide whether or not they liked it enough to go and buy it. And I am such a prime example that this test driving method really works because I have found and bought so many children's books that way with The Great Realization, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, Dragons Love Tacos, and Otis and the Tornado just being a few of them. Their read aloud videos didn't prevent me from buying these books. Instead, they helped me discover them and like them so much that I went out to buy them. And so sharing our book that way is very similar to libraries in a way, just on a much, much greater scale of reaching people with a much higher potential of being found because that's oftentimes why many authors really want their book to be present in libraries in the first place, right? Where they are hoping that their books are being discovered and then liked enough by readers to go out and purchase their own copy. Reason number two is that we can use the read aloud video of our book as part of our book launch strategy. Something I love to do for the launch of my own books is to create a read aloud video of my book and then share that with my launch team. So for example, this right here is a website I shared with my launch team for my book, Sometimes It Rains. It has a little note, shares my three minute read aloud video and links to the Amazon page as well as a direct link to the review page over on Amazon. Now, if you would like to learn more about what a launch team is and how to use it, I have a separate video on just that that I shared below. And if you would like to know how to create a direct review link that takes people directly to the review page of our book, then I have a separate video for that as well, all shared in the description below. And so sharing our book that way makes it really easy and also fun for our launch team to read our book. 
all in less than five minutes so that they can then leave a review for us. And the easier we can make it for others, the better, especially with everyone being so, so busy these days. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step launch strategy for your beautiful children's book, then make sure you check out my 30-day launch mastery below. It is one of my absolute favorite courses I have created over the years. And reason number three is that we can use a read aloud video of our book as an additional resource. When my boys were little, they loved it when I would read books to them. And sometimes when I was busy doing something else, I would give them one of their books and either play the audio version of it on repeat or also a read aloud video. That way they would literally read along as they were turning the pages of their physical book while listening to the recording. And they loved doing that. And so what we as authors can do is offer a read aloud version of our book and for example, only share it with those that have already purchased our book. If you have watched my video on fun little extras we can create for our book, you already know why offering these fun little extras can be really beneficial to us authors. And so besides extras like worksheets and coloring pages for our book, a read aloud video can be another such resource. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will go ahead and add the link in the description below. So this is also a great alternative to the first option I mentioned earlier. So instead of sharing our read aloud video with everyone on YouTube, we can simply share it with just those who have already purchased our book. Now that we have looked at the what and the why, let's look at the how. How can we create our very own read aloud video? As I already mentioned earlier, there are many different ways to go about this. The one I like a lot is where we see a realistic page turn effect. That way moving from one page to the next feels less like a slideshow and more like the turning of the pages of an actual physical book. And so that's the method I'm going to share with you here. To create a video like this, we will be using two tools and the way we are using them, they will, as of right now, at the making of this video, be absolutely free. The first tool is called Hazine. That's a tool that will help us add the page turning effect that I was talking about earlier. The basic plan is absolutely free and really all we need. Right now, it allows us to make up to five flipbooks with an unlimited number of pages. All we need to do to use it is sign up. Now there are two ways we can use Hazine. The first way is directly through Canva. And this is really helpful if we are already formatting our book in Canva anyway. So if, for example, you are already using my plug and go formatting templates to format your book, then using Hazine will be extra easy. I have shared the link to my plug and go templates in case you would like to use them to format the print version of your children's book. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to find the Hazine app in Canva, so I went ahead and shared the direct link to Hazine in Canva in the description below. When we click on that link, it will open the Hazine directly in Canva, where we can then click on the use an existing design, which then lets us choose our design or project from a drop down menu. This will open our project with another drop down menu where we can choose what pages we would like to include in our flipbook. Now here's my first ninja tip when using Hazine. Usually the interior file of our children's book does not include our cover page. But if we want our flipbook to show our cover page, we need to temporarily add a cover page to our Canva project here. So that is what you see here as well. The first page is a cover page, but again, that cover page is here only temporarily and we will want to delete it once we are done with our flipbook. So once we have all pages selected, we can click save. And once we see the confirmation box that our project has been saved, we simply click on view in Hazing flipbooks right here, which then will open our created flipbook where we can now flip through our pages. The second way of using Hazine is just to go to Hazine's website directly. So if, for example, you already have your formatted PDF file of your beautiful book, then we can upload that PDF over on Hazine directly and it will convert into a flipbook. But remember, if we want our flipbook to show our cover, it must be part of the PDF we are uploading. Now that we have the page turning effect, it's time for our second tool, and that is Loom. Loom will allow us to record our screen as we are reading our book aloud. The basic plan, again, is absolutely free. Right now, it allows us to make up to 25 videos that can be up to five minutes long, and that will be more than enough for our needs. All we need to do to use it is to sign up for it. 
we will be recording our flipbook directly in Hayzine. So once you have signed up for a Loom account, it will walk you through how to start recording your first Loom. Here I was recording my laptop so you can see how I was screen recording my read aloud. So with our flipbook open in Hayzine, we simply begin screen recording. First, we get to choose the screen size we want to record. I usually choose full screen here so it captures the entire screen. I click on start recording and confirm what area I want to record one more time and then we'll see a little countdown. In Hayzine we will want to click on the full screen option as well so our flipbook expands across the entire screen and that's where we can begin reading our book aloud where it records our voice as well as our pages as we are flipping through them. Now if you make a mistake don't worry we can edit that out right after we are done recording. That's the beauty of Loom it lets us edit our video right then and there. Remember that our video must be less than five minutes long, so make sure you're pacing yourself properly. I usually don't take more than three to four minutes reading my books. Once we are done reading our book, we can simply exit the full screen mode and stop our screen recording by clicking the stop button in the bottom left corner. Our recording is automatically opened over on Loom where we can now edit our video by clicking on that option here in the right menu. So now we can trim the beginning, trim the ending, and also cut out any mistakes we may have made in the video. And then make sure you click on save to save your edits. Now once we have created our Loom, we have three options. One, we can simply share the link to our video so people can view it directly on the Loom website. Two, we can download our Loom video by clicking on the three dots up top and select download from the drop down menu. And we can then either send that video out directly as an attachment or we can upload it onto a video platform like YouTube and then share that link with our readers or our launch team. The advantage would be that others won't have to download our video in order to watch it. Here my ninja tip would be to save it as an unlisted video on YouTube if you don't want your video to be findable or searchable. And three, we can embed our video directly on our website if we have one. That's what I did with my Sometimes It Rains read aloud video I showed you earlier. That way others will be able to watch our read aloud video directly on our website. And if you don't have a website but have been wanting to set one up, I have shared a link to my author website studio below that shows how to set up your own website without having to pay any monthly or annual hosting fees. Kids love watching read aloud videos. Just so Search for the phrase read aloud books for children on Google or on YouTube and you will find so many of them with tens of thousands of views. It can be such a great marketing tool. Not only does it increase our books discoverability, but it is also absolutely free. So if you have been wanting to create such a video for your own children's book, I hope that this showed you a fun and unique way of doing just that. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. It really encourages me to keep making free videos for you just like this one. Here's to your very own read aloud video that you can share far and wide. Bye!